Well, the inflation train, she just keeps rolling. Today, we're doing a complete refresh of all the information we have about Princess Cruises on this channel. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, Rob from Cruise Seekers, and today we're doing a video all about Princess Cruising. We're gonna do a complete refresh, folks. We're gonna do a complete refresh on Princess Cruises so we know all about the new price increases and what the prices are for Wi-Fi now, what the prices are for drink packages, what the prices are for your service fees, and also what is the new price points for Princess Plus and Princess Premier. Now, with these price increases, there have been some added includes there. We're gonna go through those too. We're also gonna see exactly how these new includes affected the cruising on February 20th when it was implemented. There was some hiccups, folks, so we're going to talk about those too. So let's start off with Wi-Fi and service fee changes. So last December, Princess had a very large announcement about all the increases that they're going to be doing on their cruise line. Included in that announcement was increases to the service fees. Princess likes to call them crew appreciation. Basically, across the board, the service fees were increased $1.50 for whatever cabin you're in. If you were in a balcony or below, it went from $14.50 to $16. If you were in a mini suite or a club cabin, you went from $15.50 to $17. And finally, if you were in a suite, you went from $16.50 to $18. In general, this is about a 10% price increase across the board. Now included with those service fee increases, Princess also announced an increase in their Wi-Fi plan the medallion net. Now medallion net used to be one of the best values for internet on the high seas. It used to be $9.95 per device. Now it went up to a whopping $15 per device. That's a 50% increase folks. So along with those service fees and Wi-Fi increases, we also did learn in December a beverage package increase in pricing. The beverage package is on Princess. The plus package is going to go from $59.99 per person per night to $64 per person per night. And the premier beverage package is going from $79.99 per person per night to $84 per person per night. With those increases, we are going to see an increase in the uh, per glass amount that you're allowed to have in each one of these packages. The plus package will go from $12 per glass to $15 per glass, while the premier will go from $18 per glass to $20 per glass. Now this is pretty much in alignment with the increase in the per glass drink a la carte menus. So you're not gonna be getting anything new in your package. It's just basically keeping everything in alignment with the menu pricing. But they did add a new thing to both of these beverage packages and that's the juice bar. Think of it as a Jamba Juice or a Roxbury, whatever you have locally. It's just basically a nice little added benefit to your package to go along with the price increase. Helps defray the cost, I guess, if you're gonna use it. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but hey, you might. And these price points for the drink packages are 100% in alignment with the rest of the industry. So it's pretty much, you know, par for the course here. Now to kind of complete this price increase portion of this video, let's talk about Princess Plus and Princess Premier. Those are the two perk packages that you can add onto your cruise at booking. So Princess Plus is going to go up $10 per person per night. It used to be $50. It's now $60 per person per night. While Princess Premier is only going to be going up $5 per person per night from $75 to $80 per person per night. Now that's really interesting. This is telling me that Princess is probably trying to drive people more to the Princess Premier package versus the Princess Plus. It's giving them a little bit more incentive to move there because the price is narrower. We'll talk about that value equation a little bit later in the video. And along with the price increases, Princess did add some new perks to these packages. But before we talk about the new added benefits to the perk packages, I would love to ask each and every one of you who are not currently a member of the Cruise Seekers crew, think about subscribing and turn that little notification bell on. It will mean the world to us, it really does. You can get notifications when we put out new content, such as cruise deals, such as reviews, you name it all sorts of great cruise content and it's pretty much on every cruise line so again think about subscribing turn that notification bell on it's very appreciated thank you so much all right so now let's take a look at some of the new added benefits to the perks package the first one is premier desserts now with princess plus you're going to get two premier desserts per day with princess premier you're going to get unlimited basically these things are basically milkshakes on steroids. They're crazy. They're huge. 
The other benefit you're going to get is a special exercise class provided by some boutique fitness providers. With Princess Plus, you're going to get two per cruise, while with Princess Premier, you get to go to as many as you want on your cruise. Now, these providers are pretty well-known names. We're talking about Club Bar, Yoga 6. We're talking about Stretch Labs. Those are the people that are going to be initially available for you on your Princess Cruise. They're going to be adding some new providers, too, in the future. Those future providers are Club Pilates, Cycle Bar, and Stride. Now, if you do go to Princess Premier, you're going to get a couple other really nice added benefits too. You're going to get a medallion accessory included with your cruise fare. So that's a nice added benefit. You know, a lot of times people just buy one of those things anyway. And the other real nice thing is reserved seating in the theater for the production shows. I think that's just a nice little added benefit, a nice little touch. So those are nice little added benefits to kind of defray the extra cost for Princess Plus and Princess Premier. But there was some hiccups in the first two weeks when implementing these changes, especially with the premium desserts. So on many ships during that first week, premium desserts was not available. And because of that, Princess decided to reimburse everybody $10 per day for those missed desserts, which I thought was the right thing to do. But when the desserts were implemented, there was some major hiccups in the facilities that were producing those desserts. The biggest one is because of the lines that they generated, right? If you went to Coffee and Cones to get a latte, you might have been presented with a line that was 30 minutes long because of people getting those desserts. And it takes a long time to make these giant milkshakes. It's just a big production. Plus, the crew were kind of new in making them and they really didn't have any pre, I guess, training to how to make these desserts. And it just took people forever just to get a cup of coffee, even if they didn't want a dessert. So Princess needs to do something to get those lines moving. I'm not sure what the right answer is, whether it be more staff behind there to deal with the desserts. Something's got to be done because nobody wants to wait online for a latte for 30 minutes as other people are getting these giant desserts. Alrighty, so to finish this off, let's talk about the value equations one last time. With Princess Plus, if you are a person that's going to need to cruise with Wi-Fi, you're going to want to get Princess Plus, especially if you do like getting a couple of drinks on your cruise per day, that is. Because when you take it all into effect, right, the new increase in the service fees and the cost of Wi-Fi, that's going to cost you $31.50 per person per night. Anyway, at $60, we're only talking about $28.50 for a drink package. Basically, if you just drink two drinks per day, that's going to cover you. So it's a great deal if you like to cruise with Wi-Fi and a drink package. Definitely think about purchasing that if that's how you like to cruise. Now, the real interesting value equation comes with Princess Premier now. If you like to cruise with specialty dining, like say you want to go to two specialty dinings on a seven night cruise, Princess Premier is looking more and more interesting because in general, for those two specialty dinings, you're going to spend around $120 anyway, $120 to $130 anyway for your specialty dining. So now for an extra $10, you get access to the princess prizes, right? Which is, yeah, I understand, kind of gimmicky, but you know what? Who knows? You never know what you might win. The other thing is, is you get those photos. You get unlimited digital photos and you get a few printed photos, which for 10 bucks, it's not bad. And finally, you also get that medallion accessory too, right? You now get that thing for free. So if you want a little watch to put your medallion in, that's great. It's free. If you want to have a little necklace to put your medallion in for your wife, that's great. It's free. Well, not free. It only costs you $10 extra if you like cruising with, you know, a specialty dining package and a drinks package and a Wi-Fi package. So yeah, it's Nothing's ever free, right? But it's almost like it comes with it now. And also having access to a reserved seating area during production shows is a nice little perk too. It's just a nice little added benefit. Not going, you know, there's no real value to it, but it's just a nice benefit. So that's the real interesting part. If you do like specialty dining, if you do like having a couple drinks on your cruise and you do need Wi-Fi. Princess Premier is looking more and more probable for you than it ever did before. So there you go, folks. 
we have completely refreshed all our information about Princess Cruises. You now know how much your gratuities cost. You now know how much your Wi-Fi is going to cost. You now know how much your drinks package will cost. You now know how much your promo packages will cost and if it's the right value for you for how you want to cruise. If you'd like this video, please think about giving it a big thumbs up. It really helps the YouTube algorithm so much. Please give it a big thumbs up. We would love you to do that. Also, if you have any questions at all about these new price points, about how these packages work, leave a comment down below. We would love to hear from you and we will try to answer every comment that we get. Finally, one more time, if you're not a member of the Cruise Seekers crew, and I know there's a good amount of you out there, folks, think about subscribing and turn that little notification bell on. It's so appreciated by all of us here. Thank you so much. So until we talk again next time, this is Rob from Cruise Seekers reminding each and every one of you to always seek the seas. Bye now.